right, so we're actually going to have to cut this tree down. Um, it went through a couple of winters that were really rough on it and it actually broke it. And we're gonna be putting a new deck, so we're gonna have to cut this down. And the bees love this tree, so we're kind of bummed out about it. Um, so I did some research online lately and I found out that if you look toward the base of any plant or tree, this is a, this might be one. No. So if you look at the base, see this guy, this little guy, it's part of this tree. Um, so if you carefully pull it out, sometimes, ooh, yay, sometimes you can get a root system. Instead of having to propagate it on your own, you can actually get a root system. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this into the greenhouse and I'm going to put it in a, a little starter cup with some really good garden soil and I'm going to soak it real good and I'm going to get it big enough so then um, hopefully next spring we can plant it outside and I just think that's really cool. Okay so now we're in the greenhouse. Um, the greenhouse is kind of a mess right now. I just have odds and ends left. You can see some celery. I actually have a jalapeno pepper that's doing quite well. Um, so this is the, the Smith Homestead <laughs> makeshift greenhouse until we get something better. But anyway, I'm showing you how, to, how I'm going to, to plant this to hopefully make it a big tree someday. Um, so I have some potting mix right here. It's a mix of a couple different really good um, starter mixes that I have going. can't give away my secrets, but it's got some peat moss and a couple different varieties, like I said, of you can get it at, at any growing center. So I just have some left in this container. I actually don't care for these containers for starting. I, I know they're biodegradable and everything and they're, they're good, but they dry out way too fast, way too fast. So what I'm doing is I do use <laughs> the red, red solo cup, but it's the off brand because I'm too cheap. So it's like a no name brand. Um, and I always keep a ooh, watering container in here like this. Um, I keep water in it to, to get it to warm temperature. So when you're, you're starting things or you're watering in the greenhouse, you won't shock your plants. Um, that's very important, very important for people to know who are just starting out growing things. You don't want to use well water cold, um, to to water your plants because it will be it'll shock them like they won't like it it's just not healthy for them so anyway look at the gorgeous day it's beautiful and gorgeous out today um so i'm gonna take this and you can see the roots on it see them super cute so i'm gonna take the roots and i've made a hole in my cup here um i've wet the soil because it was really dry from being in the greenhouse so I'm just making a hole quite deep. I, I don't wanna uh, break it. So I'm gonna put the roots down just as far as they'll go. And then I'm gonna cover, you guys can't really see what I'm doing. I'm just gonna plant it in here, super simple. Place it in and then put a little more dirt around the edge. Um, I'm gonna keep this guy in the greenhouse for a while just because I have plenty of space, so. He may as well live in here while he's starting out. Um, and just water it so... Ooh. <laughs> Wasp! <laughs> oh my gosh. Wasp almost stung my face. This stuff happens. <sighs> Unedited video. So here we are. Um, he looks pretty happy. He's so happy. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna keep him in here. I'm putting him in one of my drip pans so he doesn't drip all over the place. Um, so I will definitely update you guys on how this goes. We're hoping to get another tree like the one we have in the front. Um, it has little black berries all over it and it blossoms like crazy in the spring and the honeybees love it. That's why we're super bummed that we're, we're having to cut it down, but it's just not healthy anymore. It's been broken in half during the winter storm and, and now, it just looks like a weird bonsai tree type thing. Ooh, that wasp really wants me. <laughs> um, so we're hoping we can bring another one back to life. Um, so the bees will be able to appreciate it. All right, so that's what I have for, 
for now and I will definitely update you guys on on the project um, it's a beautiful main day today you guys should definitely get out and enjoy the sunshine it is beautiful out um, we're definitely gonna have a lot more videos coming I'm hoping to post every single day um, which is awesome um, so yeah all right I'll see you guys later have a great day bye